combusting of coir pith. The coir pith, a byproduct produced during the extraction of coir fiber from coconut husk. The coir pith is lightweight, elastic, granular material having uniformly cylindrically open cells with form-like structure. It is lignocellulosic in nature, brown colored, corky dust, particle size varies from 100 to 300 microns. It has a porous structure. The pores are responsible for allowing good aeration around the roots of plants and retain water content in the pores for revetting when dry. It acts as a shock absorber for the nut in the coconut fruit during its fall from height of 50 to 60 feet. Due to its porosity, it also gives buoyancy to the coconut fruit during its transport in water while falling from the tree. The coir fiber is embedded in the matrix of coir pith and during the extraction of coir fibers, nearly double the quantity of coir pith is obtained. Besides being rich in lignin, the coir pith has also very high water holding capacity up to 800% and is used as a soil conditioner. Coir pith has readily available nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium suitable for plant growth. Coir pith has a higher organic matter content when compared to peat moss. Pith provides us with an effective soil substitute solution. Coir pith can take the place of soil as a growing medium for plants and shrubs. Model process of pith combusting. By using bed method, it can possible pith combusting from 10 to 50 layers. For this purpose, 100 kilo coir pits have collected in first layer. A packet pit plus or 400 gram pit plus sprays and treads on this pits. Again, 100 kilo coir pit spread on first layer and 1 kilo urea drops on. Hence, the pit plus in the third layer and urea levels on fourth layer. Thus, like sandwiching process, it can continue 10 to 50 layers and the pit composting happens. Within the period of 23 to 25 days, this layer, layer coir pits, turns into black product which is enriched with nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and used as organic manner for cultivation. Bed Method The Central Coir Research Institute, one of the prestigious institutes of the Coir Board, after long years of research and development has invented the technology for bioconversion of Coir Pith into organic manure, CPOM. The standard method of composting of coir pith is a simple process. An area of 5 into 3 meters is selected in a sheltered place, preferably under a tree thatching to protect the heap from sunlight and heavy rain. A hundred kilograms of coir pith is spread on the marked area. On top of the first layer of coir pith, pith plus is spread. Plus, an edible mushroom spawn speeds up the composting process of coir pith. Pith Plus is grown in sargam, which is pre-cooked and sterilized. Packed into 400 grams poly bags and inoculated with the mother spawn at 15 degrees for 15 days which leads to the development of Pith Plus and five such packets are used for the production of CPOM. 400 grams of Pith Plus is spread on the first layer of the coir pith. This layer is covered with another 100 kilograms of coir pith over which nitrogen sources like soya hulls or urea is applied. This process of sandwiching the pit plus and nitrogen sources like soya hulls, azola or urea is applied alternatively with 100 kg pith is repeated so that the heap reaches a height of 1 meter. To compost 1 metric ton of coir pith, 2 kg of pith plus and 2.33 kg of nitrogen sources are required. Water is sprinkled on the heap to maintain sufficient moisture up to 200%. 
the heap is allowed to decompose for 30 days. Compared to peat moss, composted or pith requires lesser amount of lime due to high pH. Pith plus, an edible mushroom spawn, speeds up the composting process and leads to 42% reduction in volume of corpith. Cellulosic compounds present in pith supports the initial growth of this fungus and acts as a co-substance for lignin degradation. The sea palm is then transported back to the factory and sieved thoroughly. This fine powder is packed into plastic bags and sealed. Koya pith hillock compositing Composting coir pith is carried out at the site where damp mounds of coir pith are lying unutilized. A narrator network of PVC pipes of diameter 50 mm and length 60 cm was laid horizontally. T or elbow joints with one end protruding upward to hold the vertical perforated 100 mm diameter PVC pipes provided for aeration. Both the ends of the horizontal pipeline protruded out of the pit act as an air vent. The pit 
refilled in 100 kilo batches of coir pith and overlaid alternately with packet containing 400 gram pith plus and 1 kilo urea. It is ensured that the vertical pipes extended 25 cm above the heap surface to enable air inflow and gas exchange between the heap and the atmosphere thereby dissipate the heat generated during combusting through convection. The top of the perforated vertical pipe was covered with a polythene sheet to prevent over flooding due to rains which may cause leaching out of urea and other suitable beneficial material from the heap through the laid down pipes protruding outside the pit. The heap is sprinkled with water in the pit to the level of 200% essential for the compositing process. The PVC pipes are lightweight and recalcitrant to corrosion. The compositing of pit is completed in 21 days. The compost coir pith obtained is 100% organic manure which turns into a black mass with reduced carbon to nitrate ratio from 112 is to 1 to 20 is to 1 and volume ratio from 100 to 58. The pH increases from 5.5 to 6.8 and the electrical conductivity decreases from 0.98 millimoles per centimeter to 0.25 millimoles per centimeter. Application of combusted pith organic manure CPOM, in agri hoti flory crops. The nutrient status of composted koi pith. When compared to peat moss, CPOM has a higher nutrient content. The NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium content in CPOM is 1.2%, 0.06%, and 1.20% whereas the same in peat moss is 0.75%, 0.0056% and 0.13% respectively. The C and carbon nitrate in seed bomb is 19 is to 1, which is ideal for plant growth, whereas in peat moss it is 65 is to 1. Further, the total organic matter which is required for plant growth is 95.6% in seed bomb, which is much higher. In peat moss, it is just 83.2%. Finds application as manure in the cultivation of various crops like coconut, araca nut, plantain, vegetables, orchids, and crapper. Sea palm maintains excellent air porosity and gives better crops with faster developing roots. Sea palm reabsorbs moisture more readily and plants recover quickly. This manure used as mulch for soil remediation increases the nutrient status. The dosage application of sea palm on different crops are Application of seed palm on plantation crops, 